all this week, we're marking the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks with special stories. This morning, Team 12's Jess Winters joins us live from the Hall of Flame Museum, where an important piece from that horrific day is now on display. Jess, what is this piece and what's the significance? Yeah, good morning to both of you. Well, there is a vast collection of fire trucks at the Hall of Flame, but the newest addition is this fire rig right here, this rescue rig that responded to the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. As you can see right there, more than a handful of people died. For the full story, I'm going to bring in Mr. Mark Moorhead this morning. He's the curator here. How are you? Nice to, nice to have you here, Jess. Uh, yes, this is Rescue four, and this is one of the five rescue units. Uh, there's one for every borough in New York. All of them responded to 9-11, to the calls at the World Trade Center, and all of them suffered losses. All of the nine guys uh, who were part of this crew, uh, there were a couple of guys from that had been working there from other crews, uh, were all lost. As, as my boss likes to say, this is, this is the last door they ever came out of, was the doors on this truck. And and uh, they made that supreme sacrifice. They are kind of the elite. The rescue crews are kind of the elite of the FDNY. They, uh, they're for big calls, for things like a building collapse or a, a bridge collapse or an airplane crash. Obviously, 9-11 was exactly their kind of thing. Uh, but unfortunately, it none of them uh, survived. The truck itself was badly damaged, and but it was Because restored. it looks clean and pristine right now, but this is not what it looks like. From my understanding, it was very badly damaged on 9-11. It was. It was the whole front of this, even when we had it on display for a while, was full of all these little pox and craters where the rubble had hit it. Uh, the decision was made to restore it to make it look pristine. Firefighters love their fire trucks to be beautiful and pristine. And so they did leave one piece of damage over on the door there, one little gouge in the logo, kind of as a, a battle scar, a memento of that terrible day. Uh, but the otherwise, it's all been buffed out. One of our volunteers, a couple of our volunteers, Rick Stuve and Mark Anello, did a beautiful job in were along with many, many other people in restoring this to its former glory. And uh, it's it's one of the more somber exhibits we have here at the museum, but we're very, very proud to, to display it and to share it with people. Yeah, we're very lucky to have it right here in the Valley, all the way from New York City. Mark, thank you so much for your time. You all have the opportunity to see this rescue, Rick. It is here to stay in the Valley. It is not just here because of the 20th anniversary. And on September 11th here at the Hall of Flame, they will be doing a roll call naming all the people who died on 9-11 allowed. Back to you in the studio. It really is a great museum to visit. And we went there a couple months ago and you know, it's, it's great we brought our toddler and he, and he yeah. just loved the whole thing. When you turn into the room there with the fire engine and it, it just, it kind of becomes a little somber. You yeah. know, as you realize what you're seeing. They also have a beam that's been recovered from uh, the World Trade Center at that museum as well. So a lot of really interesting artifacts. Yeah.